there they go. The movers have arrived. And this is just for part one. Hi everyone, it's Crystal with ArmyWife101.com here because today begins the live PCS. Now for those of you who don't exactly know what a live PCS, hey, I don't even really know neither, but I do know that today the movers are coming to move our first set of goods. Now this is not something they do when you're moving on the mainland to another place on the mainland, but normally when you're going overseas, like I am here in Hawaii, this is considered overseas, they give you two household goods shipments. One is your unaccompanied goods, which is just your basics, you know, some towels, some pots, pans, maybe a small TV. And then, of course, you get your household goods, which is the rest of your stuff. So today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing our unaccompanied goods. So... I and my hubby are going to show you just a few of the things we're shipping. Now keep in mind, this is not necessarily live because I'm filming on a camera and I have to upload it. But it is real because you're not going to see the beautiful house with the beautiful setting in the background anymore. You're going to see a junky house that's in the midst of a PCS move. So let's go. So honey, what are you doing? Uh, right now I'm getting all our uh, small appliances that we're going to need when we get there. We're going to go ahead and ship most of the small stuff like uh, small TV. Um, and here I got all the blankets, uh, towels, and some more blankets in there. Got all my military gear that I'm going to need um, as soon as possible already outside in the garage ready for the movers. So pretty much most of the light stuff I'm trying to get out of the way now so I can focus on the big stuff before the big shipping day. So how do you feel about unaccompanied goods movements? Do you think it's worth it? Um, if, if you got a lot of... If you got a lot of stuff, yeah, it is worth it. You can kind of half it up and split up between two days. Give yourself a week to sort everything out. So this way I was already able to sort out all our small stuff for towels and all our basics. So, Army Wife 101, how do you feel about shipping unaccompanied house goods first? Well, the thing about unaccompanied house goods for me is, in our personal experience, when we first arrived here to Hawaii, we were told we could ship unaccompanied goods along with our household goods. The problem was is that they only came maybe three days before our actual household goods schedule was scheduled to be picked up. So when we arrived here March 5th, it wasn't until March 25th that we received our, house, our unaccompanied goods. And March 27th, our regular household goods came. So what was the point? I'm hoping that leaving here, maybe going to the mainland, will make a huge difference. But honestly, unless, like my husband said, you have a lot of stuff and you're just really wanting to do it, I don't really see the purpose. I know many people who haven't done it and they made out well. I suggest putting small things that you know will keep, especially if you have kids, will keep them quiet. We're definitely going for the small TV. Definitely bring sheets and towels. Small appliances, like your skillet. I have an electric skillet, which I thought about bringing to the hotel with me, but I'm not sure about how hotels feel about electric skillets in rooms. For the kids, I suggest things like their toys. You know, you tend to arrive at the duty station, and I know this has happened to us lots of times, and although I do pack a bag for my kids on the plane, normally that consists of my son's little Game Boy or his Nintendo DSi. My daughter's a book fanatic, so she's always bringing lots of books and lots of colored pencils and crayons and all that stuff. But when you arrive to these duty stations, after a while being cooped up in a hotel room, they get bored with that. So take the opportunity, if you have the opportunity to ship unaccompanied goods, pack some of their toys. Pack lots of their toys so at least if it does get there ahead of time, the kids are occupied. Because, let's be honest, there's not much to do in a hotel room. And especially if you arrive someplace and you only have one car and your husband's in processing, what are you really going to do? might not be able to walk around. It really depends on where you're at. Coming to Hawaii, yeah, there was plenty to do, plenty to walk around. There was a pool right by the hotel. There's parks and everything else. But you might get to a place, for instance, like Fort Bragg, where eh, you might not want to walk around. So, <laughs> with that said, make sure you pack appropriate things for the children and even some things for yourself, just to keep you engaged and entertained. So, that's the beginning of the live PCS. I hope you continue to join us. There's lots more from the day we arrived at the airport to the day I take off in the airplane. And for those of you who read my blog, you know I have a fear of flying, so this should be hysterically funny. But anyway, I'll see you soon. Don't forget to visit me at armywife101.com. Thanks.